and welcome to another of Mrs. Patnell's phonics lessons. This is for group two, and I've chopped the top of my head off, bear with me a second. This is for group two, so those of you in my class who are uh, looking at phase three, so the new phase three sounds, okay? Right, so we've learnt some new sounds this week. Some have been a little easier to say than others. We quite liked zzz, zzz, zzz in our class yesterday. Um, we weren't such a fan of you, you, you. We weren't such a big fan of saying that one. But um, we, you know, we learned how to write it pretty well. We quite liked writing you and zzz, in fact. So we've had quite a busy week of all different sounds and uh, letters to write. Now let's go on with our flashcard. So see if we can remember all those old ones plus the new ones from this week. Mm. P t a I s g d n o k o k j Many sounds we know now it's amazing fantastic right okay so we're not learning a new sound in today's lesson we're going to look at some new tricky words we're going to introduce some more and we're going to look at the old ones as well to make sure you don't forget those but then show you some new ones before I do that I want to go through the alphabet song because I want to get very used to looking at those capitals and also knowing the names of the letters that we're learning the important sounds for. So I'm going to come a little nearer with my poster. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and hopefully you can see all of those letter sounds there. Okay, so remember these ones here, these bigger ones are the capital um, versions of the letters. The other ones are the non-cursive ones. Now, we mustn't forget what sounds they make when they read, the very first things that we learnt, but these are just their names. So everything has a name and a sound where every letter does anyway. Okay, are we ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I'm going to bring it up close to the camera. We're going to start asking questions like this. So I'm going to say to you, I'm going to point to a letter and ask you to tell me the sound it makes. So that's the sound we've learnt when we're reading it and that we've learnt in phonics and then its name from the song we've just sang. So let's just start here to begin with. What sound does it make when we read it in our reading books that we learnt in phonics? It makes the A sound. And its name from the song that we sing is... A. So A sound, A is its name. Let's try this one. Okay, it's the third one along. What sound does it make when we read it in phonics? K. And what is its name? If you're not sure, sing the song. A, B, C is its name and K is the sound it makes when we read it. Let's try one more. Let's try this one. Okay, it's the capital and the non-cursive. What sound does it make when we read it? What sound have we learned in phonics? And its name. If you're not sure, then go with the song. A, B, C, D, E. F is its name and F 
is the sound it makes. Okay, I'm going to be asking you a few more of those as the weeks go on. Right, coming back round here again to deal with what we're going to do this particular lesson. Let me just check I've gone through. Ah, okay. Yes, maybe actually we'll do a bit of revisiting writing of letters. Or as I know what I'm like, I will forget after we've looked at our new tricky words. So with your pens out, could you have a go at revisiting writing a X from this week? X. So have a go on your boards, pause me if you want to think about it, but I'm going to do it with you now. So a X. we cursively wash up, we do a diagonal line down, bring our pen back in between the two lines, the cursive and the diagonal, cross through and a little arm to finish. So if you've done your X like that, Fantastic. If you're having trouble, then pause the video and have a good few goes in to get it right. Next, can you have a go at doing, oh, this is an old one. Can you practice doing, some of us are getting it mixed up with an mm when we're looking at it in class. So we need to remember that a has a super tall stick. It's very proud and tall, back down, up, over, and a flicky foot to finish. So if you've got your like that, fantastic. Apologies for the light, it's really shining on, on the, my board today. Okay, do your huh until you got it right, so if you have to pause the video, that's fine. Now can you have a go at doing, or another good old one, can you do d? Because sometimes we're still thinking of b when we see this, so let's have a go at doing d. Okay, you have a go on your board, but I'm going to have a go now. I cursively wash up and I think curvy. I come back round the curve and I go up the side real tall. Back down and a flick to finish. There's my D. There it is. D. And the last one is yesterday's sound of the day. Can you do z, 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 z? Have a think how it goes. If you're not sure, you can do it with me now. So we cursively whoosh up, then we go straight this way, a diagonal line, and then straight across the bottom. And there is zzz from yesterday. Fabulous, if you got all of those right. If not, just have a little practice after this video. Okay, so up next, I think we're going to have a go at writing a few words. I'm keeping you in suspense of your new tricky words. How exciting. Um, so can you have a go at writing for me? And I think I'll probably come over towards the camera because I've got a shine on my board. So can we have a go at writing uh, the word yell? Yell. And I will tell you that it has one, two, three sounds with the last sound being a digraph, two letters making one sound. So how are you going to write yell, yell? Think of the sounds you need and write them on your board. Pause me if you need time to think about it. I'm going to go through it with you now. So yell, let me stand up to do this. Yell is the sound of uh, two days ago. Y, y, there it is. Y, Eh. Ooh. You. Eh. Ooh. Yell. That's how you wrote it. You're a superstar. Because I know we're not a fan of you. Okay, next one. Can we have a go at writing yet? I haven't finished yet. Three sounds for yet. How are we going to write yet? Yet. Think about the three sounds. Pull them out. Write them on your board. Pause it if you need to. I'm going to go for it now. Yet. I can hear y, y, e, t, y, et, y, et, yet. Fantastic. Next one up. Can we have a go at yum? Can we do yum? One, two, three sounds. Fill up those sound buttons with the sound you need for yum. Pause the video if you need to. Here is yum. You. Ah. Mmm. Yum. Last one. Yes. Can you do yes? Now I'm rubbing out carefully because it is three sound buttons still. So can you do yes? Yes, I can come to tea. Yes. Pause the video to have a go. We're going to do them together. Yes. 
yes e e s e e s yes yes we did it right okay moving on now to those tricky words as promised okay here they are two new tricky words and i've got them on clouds here today let's straighten them up okay now it's a very similar deal with these tricky words or this one anyway in that the first sound is helping us much like in to and go and no that first sound is always seemingly the most helpful so look at the first sound first when we look at this now and when we come back to it in the future so we got but this is the one that's being tricky normally it's eh so we'd have eh he but the word isn't he because this little fella is being tr uh, tricky so it's not an off this time, it's an F being tricky. Rather than being its usual F sound, in this tricky word, it's making an E sound, an E sound. So we've got E, E, he, he likes to, I don't know what he likes to dance. He, okay, helping you, tricking you, E, he. Now I'm going to flip over to this one here, okay? Here is this tricky word. Now, at the moment, if we blended it, what we know with these sounds, we'd have s, s, e, s, e. What, that doesn't even make a word. So we know parts of this is tricky. Now, at the moment, we don't know this sound at all, but in the next few lessons, I'm going to introduce a new sound to you where two very different lessons, uh, two very different letters act as good friends. And when they are good friends together, they will make a shh sound, okay? So in the next few weeks, or even the next couple of lessons, I think, you will know the shh sound okay so when these two are together they make an shh sound this is being tricky again doing the same thing as the last word and making an e sound so we've got when these two and her friends together shh e shh e she there we go so we've got he and we've got E. You can see that, look, she is he, but with a s on the beginning, so that might help you tell which one is which. So there's he, and there's she. This one just has a s in addition to it, okay? But you will see that sh sound real soon popping up, and then this word will seem altogether a lot less tricky at that point, okay? So he and she. You might want to keep your eyes out for these two. He and she in the sentences I'm going to do at the very end. But before we get to that, I want to show you my tricky words. I'm going to flush them to you this time, if you can call them out to the screen. Look at that first sound, it's helping you. No. Helping you again at the first sound. Two. Helping you the first sound. Go. Oh, this one's upside down. Poke your tongue out and say the. This one, all three sounds are helping you, just him being tricky. It, ooh, into. And this one is I. Fabulous. So that's our old tricky words that we must not forget. And our new ones today are sh, e, sh, e, she, and e, he, she, he, she. Hey. Okay, with those two tricky words in mind, let's grab my sentence. Oh, where has it gone? Here it is. And let's have a go at reading it. I'm coming round to you as usual so you can see my sentence clearly. Here it is. Let's check it's a good sentence. Capital cut at the beginning. Finger spaces between each word. And, aha! punctuation on the end that looks a bit like an ear it's a question mark so this is a question that needs an answer yes or no okay so i'm going to get you to pause the video to blend this sentence now but i'm going to read it with you so we've got k -a -n can oh hello i recognize you 
E. He. Can he hop, hop, and, and? Can he hop and? Two syllable word at the bottom, which you might recognise from yesterday's lesson. Let's cover up syllable two and just work on syllable one. Zig, zig, zag, zag, zig, zag. Let's read the whole sentence. Can he hop and zigzag? Can he hop and zigzag? Well, if we're talking about any ordinary human being, I guess he can hop and zigzag. Yes, he can. Okay, let's twist it over to our next sentence. A nice short one. Only one, two, three words in this sentence. We can see it's got lovely finger spaces between each new word. Capital D at the beginning, and it's been punctuated with a beautiful question mark. So a perfect sentence. Pause it, have a read. Look for that tricky word of the day. And now I'm going to go for it with you now. D, id, did. Ha ha! E, he, did he, you, el, you, el, yell, did he yell? I don't know, did he yell? I didn't hear anything, so I'm going to go with no. Right, last one. Some of these questions are a little strange, aren't they, to be able to answer? Okay, here is our last one today. Look for tricky words within this one, our new tricky words. It's a good sentence, capital letter punctuated with a question mark and finger spaces. So pause the video and have a read. I'm going to do it with you now. K -n can, tricky word, making the sh, tricky e, sh e. Can she zip, zip up, up? Can she zip up a ill, ill? Hill. Can she zip up a hill? Well, I don't know. Can she zip up a hill? I'll let you decide whether that's yes or no. That's a strange old question. But yes, three excellent sentences that you have read there today. Now, if you are feeling like you're full of energy at the end of the week, then you must have been eating lots of good carbohydrates, I'm thinking. I might need to go home and, and tuck into a few myself because I'm feeling a little worn out this week. But if you're feeling full of energy, why don't you have a practice at writing that sentence, did he yell? Did he yell? So only three words you've got to think of. Um, remember, if you can, the punctuation. Some of you have been excellent. I've seen exclamation marks in your sentences on tapestry, which is fabulous. This one, did he yell? Hmm, ask yourself what kind of punctuation it needs on the end. Think about capital letters on that first letter of the first word and beautiful finger spaces so you could easily read the words. So I'll leave you with did he yell. If you're full of energy, you can have a go at writing that sentence. I shall see you now next week when we will start to learn some more sounds. The sounds next week will start to be two letters making one sound. Now we've done that with a few of them, but a lot of them are the same two letters. Whereas next week they start to be two different letters joining up as friends to make one sound. So a little different next week. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.